Happy New Year and welcome back to Happier at Work. I'm Heather Patterson. On this channel, I give tips and strategies on how you can lead and live a happier work life. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so so you don't miss out on weekly videos. So tell me, what do your professional goals look like for 2018? Maybe it's to earn a specific amount of money or to be awarded the promotion that you've been wanting or to land a new contract, get a nice shiny new corner office or even hire that amazing team member you've been wanting to bring on board. These are common goals and they are wonderful. I wish you nothing but success on your way to achieving them but I'd like to give you a hint, something that will help you ensure that you're going to reach those goals. Do I have your attention? First, before you take any step towards making and reaching and achieving that goal, first, I want you to be happy. I know what you might be thinking. I will be happy when I add that new team member. It's so hard to find people. Or I'll be happy when I get that new contract because, well, that's revenue and that makes me happy. Or I'll be happy in my new corner office, duh. And hey, I get it, I used to think that way too. But here's the deal, when we're happy, we're more successful. The science proves it. When we're happy, we sell better, we solve problems better, we're more solution-oriented and creative, we're more likable. All around, we're better when we're happier, which means that we're more successful and more likely to reach those goals. Making sense now? Hey, and before we get too far into this, I just want to make sure that we recognize the researchers that are helping with this information. People like Sean Acor and Sonia Lyomberski, even Martin Segelman, the father of positive psychology. These people and many others, they're just leading the way in the research and helping us see the science behind happiness. And I couldn't be more grateful for them. There are literally hundreds of ways for you to boost your happiness. And it really does start with you. It doesn't start with other people. It starts with you. I'm gonna give you a few right here, a few that you can do literally right away, like as soon as the video ends. And of course, there are other tips and strategies and technique all over the channel, so check those out too. The first thing you can do to boost your happiness and get closer to your goals is to smile. I know, I know, it sounds a little cheesy, but, but the research doesn't lie. When we smile, we get shots of all those feel-good chemicals that run through our body, and we get to send people a signal, and they get those feel-good chemicals too, right? I mean, let's just try it out. It's hard for you not to smile back, right? I do this with my audiences and clients all the time and they just can't help themselves. So first things first, smile. The next thing you can do is to practice gratitude. And gratitude already is very popular, but mostly in the personal space. Why not bring it to work? Why not look around at your professional situation and figure out what you're grateful for? It could be something as simple as that fully functioning computer on your desk. Hey, some people have really crappy equipment, so if yours isn't crappy, be grateful. Or maybe it's the amazing snacks in the break room. You're grateful for those. Or it's something like being grateful for the sunlight that gets to shine, that shines in on your office or your commute or whatever it is, but find some good, find some gratitude in your professional life as well. My third tip to you, and it doesn't stop here, like I said, there are so many others, but my third tip to you is to give kindness. Give kindness at work. So 
there are a number of things that you can do. It could be as simple as holding the door for someone, helping someone, right? Bringing someone their favorite treat or afternoon coffee, right? It's giving to others, being kind. Now, maybe these three things aren't new to you. That's most likely, but I hope that they are a reminder to you that after the the craziness of the holidays and the kind of getting motivated and jotting down those goals and everything, that it's a gentle reminder to bring your heart to work and connect and be kind and be grateful and to smile. My hope is that you will incorporate at least one of these practices into your action plans that I know you have written to achieve your goals, you incorporate at least one of these techniques into your action plan. Just weave it on in there and you will be happier and more successful. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, I would so greatly appreciate if you would give a thumbs up and if you're so inclined, press the share button. More people are setting goals and need this secret so that they can be more successful too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.